This is just... Believe me, I, I don't... I'm trying to make sense of it myself. Harley knows her better than anyone. You think she would have figured it out? Sometimes the people that you know, you don't know at all. You don't see the things that... Especially the bad things. She hurts so many people. Uh, what's the connection? When we get the Jeffrey and Dinah thing. It's just everybody else stabbing everybody else in the back. That's just crazy. That's wacky, even for Blake. What do you think, Ben? About what? Motive for Blake. About why Blake repeatedly stabbed all of her friends in the back? I don't know. I could make a guess, but I don't. You ever I... wish we worked in a town where we didn't know everybody's name? Springfield PD. Gus, it's Mel. Blake's regained consciousness. Can we come over there? Only for a few minutes, and only if you promise not to upset her. All right. I'll be easy on her. She's awake. Want to get some answers? Hey, call me when you hear something. Look, I don't want to have to hunt you down, but I will if I have to. You got that? Wow. I guess you didn't miss me. How was Chicago? It was windy. Go figure. Um, who were you expecting to walk through that door? I don't know. Something I've got to run by here. Uh, okay, all right. Don't you want to hear about our vendors first? No, this is more important. More important? Okay, well, tell you what. Let me just check in with Ava, and then we can go no, ahead you and... won't get her. What do you, what do you mean, I won't mm -hmm. get her? Why not? She left She left a note. Said she had something she had to do. She'd be back as soon as she can. She didn't tell me that. We sure know how to show a girl a good time. <laughs> we don't have to go in. Yes, we do. If my biological father is dead, I need to know. I need to see for myself. never really occurred to me. No. I thought of a lot of things, but Kyle Moore. Were you my father? My PIs are trying to track down his blood type, family DNA, anything that'll give us definitive proof. Were you the man that Olivia said you were? Did you feel sorry for what you did to her? Did you even know about me? It's me, message number three. What's with you, woman? I'm not buying your I Need Space Act. Get over to company this afternoon if you know what's good for you. I have a surprise for you. I don't want to hunt you down. But I will. You got pregnant. From that night? Yeah, how about that? First time out of the box. Don't worry about it, I got rid of her. Hey, baby. You look so good. Let's get your jacket on, okay? Mommy, I'll help you. Come here, sweetheart. Wow. Beautiful. You're a good mommy. And I'm ready to begin my first full day as acting mayor. I do not take lightly. Hello? Jeffrey, it's Pete Mitchell. Yeah, Pete, uh, did you find anything? Yeah. Adoption records. Olivia Spencer gave up a baby for adoption. Do you have a date of birth? 
almost nine months to the day after the royal ball. Uh, all right, uh, thanks, Pete. That's what I was afraid of. Olivia had the baby. My baby. Try to get you answers. It's so weird. I never knew him. And for all I know, he was a sexual predator. There's something inside me that feels empty. Like I'm missing something. We can find out as much about him as you want. Seems kind of strange reading about him in a report. We could track down people who knew him, but that might take some time. Would you help me with that? Would you stay with me? Of course. I'll, I'll get us a hotel. Uh, uh, two beds. <laughs> Thanks. I'd appreciate that. What are bosses for? Hello. Are you uh, friends of Kyle's? Um, n no. Actually, I don't know if there's a right way to say this, but I think Kyle was my father. <laughs> Your father? That's impossible. I'm sorry, who, who exactly are you? His wife, Laura. Uh, <laughs> we tried to have kids. You tried, but you couldn't? Had every test. He was unable to have children. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I must have gotten some bad information. Where are you? Ain't technology grand. Now women have even more ways to dodge us. Mr. Parrish! Mr. Cooper. Coop, this is uh, the man I was telling you about. What do you got? Certain one of these will meet with your satisfaction. What do you think? Um. Wow, you're gonna ask Olivia to marry you? Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna grab a glass of rubbing alcohol. I've been breaking into hotel rooms since I was a teenager. Of course. Of course you were. I have nothing to say. Get out. Well, I got something to say to you. Fine. When I call to report you for assault, I'll just throw in breaking and entering. Well, well then while you're at it, you can tell them that you're the person who put the poison in Blake Marler's champagne. Prove it. Give me a motive. Admit to the world that you sexually assaulted a minor. You lied to me about having an abortion. No, I didn't. Did you think I wouldn't check it out? I want you out of here. You know, I still have a few connections. It took all of about an hour to find the adoption records. You gave up a baby nine months after that party. My baby. I never said that I had an abortion. I never said that. I said that I got rid of her, and I did. What do you want from me? I want you to shut up and listen. This isn't just about you. I can't believe it. Me either. 
Blake has always been larger than life, but she's always had a big heart. I mean, remember when we were working together, she was like the biggest pushover. This goes to show you, you never know a person. It's not really. Can we go in there? Five minutes. That's it, okay? I know you guys have a job to do, but so do I. I have to protect my patient. But, but, the fact that she's awake, that means she's getting better, right? I hope so. We're still trying to flush the poison out of her system. We never know how people will react. I'll be gentle. Go easy on her, okay? You want me to do this? No, I'm going in there. You know, with Holly and the boys away, we're all she has. I don't want her waking up and feeling like she's alone and nobody's okay, on her right. side. Yeah, okay, I just... right. Let me talk. Hey. How are you feeling? Did you get that license plate number? <laughs> Do you know how you got here? Uh, I remember winning and making a speech. And then I couldn't get my breath. And Mel said it was poisoning. I mean, what did I eat? It wasn't food poisoning. It was poison poisoning. What? It was in the Victory Champagne. Well, uh, what, from Jeffrey? Actually, we, <clears throat> we think it was intended for Jeffrey. Why? Well, we're not sure, Blake. That was official. What's going on? We know, Blake. What? Springfield Burns. Does that ring a bell? Perhaps the poison wasn't meant for you, but maybe it should have been. Would you get me a nurse? I'm thirsty. After you collapsed, Blake. We went back into your room. Who gave you the right to go into my room? Gus, Gus. We went into your room. We got into your computer. It's where SpringfieldBurns.com originated. I was set up. She was set up. Is that right? By whom? Jeffrey. That doesn't make any sense. That's not really his style. Honey. Nick, you're my friend. I love you. I want you to get better. Even if you did this, I love you. And you didn't deserve to be poisoned, so just talk to me, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt you. Why would you do this? We had a business together. Uh, we help people. You used to help people. Uh, Why would you do this? You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Explain it to me. I want to understand. That was a joke. Says who? Did you vote for me? You won the election. Did you vote for me? No. You don't take me seriously like everybody else? No, it's not that. I didn't vote for either of you, okay? You're one of my best friends, Harley. And you didn't believe. Strangers put me into the house. Hey, ladies, we're getting a little off track here. You know what I'm saying? Blake, you ended up turning your back on all your friends. My friends abandoned me. How? How'd they do that? When Ross died. I was with you when Ross died. I helped you plan the memorial. <laughs> For two weeks. Two weeks, then you went back into your life. You may I'm close with Dinah. You're closer to Dinah than me. Friends, huh? It's not a contest. My husband died. I deserved consideration. And just because I'm not part of a couple doesn't mean I don't exist. Okay. 
I am your friend, and you know that you could have come to me. When you started to freak out, you could have come to me. I wasn't out of the country. I was here. And I was with you after Ross died. I did see you. How many times? How many times did you see me? Three. Three times in a year. It was a tough year for me, too, okay? I thought Gus was dead. But he wasn't, Harley. He came back to you. And you just went back to your regular life. And I just became invisible. I had to do something that made me matter again. Well, he was sterile. Makes it kind of hard to... Get a girl pregnant, right? Yeah, I guess we made a mistake. I'm sorry, I thought we had good information. How did you get his name? I was tipped off to it. He was at the party that when Olivia was assaulted. Can I see your information? <laughs> what difference does it make if it's wrong? Yeah, I just want to see it. Olivia's handwriting? Olivia gave you Kyle Moore's name? Yeah. Why did you believe her? This was a total setup. No, this Stop. is not. You know what? I ignored what everybody was telling me about you, but it's true. She wanted you to throw me off track from finding my father. I am not working with Olivia. I don't believe that. What did you get out of this? A new contract at the Beacon Hotel? <laughs> you think I care about that? What do you care about, huh? This is not about that either. I can see it now. We get back to the hotel, and what happens? Oh, gee, we don't have two rooms. We have one room, and Ava, we need to share it. Please, give me a little more credit than that. Olivia used me, too. She, she knows I've been trying to help you, so she gave me a false lead, knowing that you believe me. And why should I believe you? If I wanted to get with you, why didn't I make my move when you came to my room drunk? I called Coop to come get you. Kind of blows your theory, doesn't it? Kind of. The only reason I brought you down here is so that you can figure all this out. Look, I've got a lousy relationship with my father, and he's alive. I just don't want any of that for you. If I find out that you are lying to me... You won't, because I'm not. So, what do you want to do now? I can't wait to go back and see my dear, sweet mother. <laughs> well, you couldn't, I don't know, maybe just get a necklace or a bracelet, could you? Wouldn't be the same thing. Wouldn't know. be the same thing. Okay. You know what, Dad? I'm trying to do everything I possibly can right now to contain myself. I mean... What? I, you guys have been together very little time, and the, and the time that you have been together, it's been, what, a complete mess? Can't argue with there. Why don't you just live together first, okay? Give it a trial run. Good, yeah. You know what? what? Right now, I want to grab you by the lapels and, and shake you around and see if there's anything in that head of yours instead of being absolutely crazy. But I don't moment. have lapels. You don't have a mind, either. You're making perfect sense. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I'm not I... trying to make sense. I want to prove something to the woman I love. What is that? That you know a guy who delivers rings? That it's the real deal. That I'm not going to bail on her. That what we have is important to me. And that she's not going to be alone as long as my heart's beating. Dad, they make greeting cards for this kind of stuff. I want something big. It oh, has to be come big. On. You realize you're making this very difficult right now to say no. Good. Jump on the boat. I, come on. Be best man. No, I, best, okay. best man. <laughs> yeah. What? Olivia's really going to go for that one. No, Frank. Okay, what about Frank? Uh, it's your turn. Never mind. Never mind, Frank. Uh, Dad, stop. Okay, I can't. I can't do this. You I'm sorry. You can. You can't. Come on. It's the beginning of a whole new thing. I somehow seriously doubt it's the beginning of anything. Come on. 
Do it for your old man. Oh, don't, it's important Dad, to me. Don't, Come stop. on, no, dude. I'm all right, look, look. I'm not listening. Just look, just hey, just help me look at the rings, all right? And then you can be your answer later. There's no way I can talk you out of this, is there? No. Lizzie. What about what, what happened with Lizzie? You remember that? Smart, but not even that. You see, I'm actually being selfish here. I love the woman. And I'm not getting any younger. And like you said before, you said it. it might be your last shot at love. Get off. Get away from that. This is my St. Jude's medal. You've had it all these years? Yeah. I kept it. I wanted, I wanted a reminder. Never to trust anyone again. Never, never get hurt like that again. Well, you know what? I learned the same lesson that night. Stop it! Would you stop trying to make this about you? You made it about me when you came after me. You know what? I still haven't heard you call it what it was. Well, I don't remember it the same way that you do. I'm sure you don't. Because it makes you feel better, doesn't it? No one wants to look in the mirror and see a monster, but Jeffrey, that is what you are. It doesn't matter how many times you change your face. I definitely did not show the best judgment, but I did not mean to hurt you. Is that what you plan on telling our daughter? Do you know where she is? Did I say that I did? Well, it doesn't matter because I don't want anything to do with her. Nothing. Rob Bogue, Inside the Light. Rob's romantic evening would consist of, uh, you know, I like to build a, a bonfire and sit around with my wife and kids and friends and, and talk all night. That's what I like to do. I build them in my backyard. I'm a big bonfire pit. It's a, it's a nice comfortable little home and it's it's on a lake and i got a dock and a canoe and you know it's woodsy and it's quiet and a couple bear wander through the backyard it's nice see mallet on wednesday november 15th inside the light Never wanted to be a father. I'm not going to start now. See, I don't really believe that because you were like a father to Cassie's kids. Well, that was a little different. And I definitely do not need this in my life right now. Is this the game? Is this the plan? You're going to seem disinterested and I tell you where she is? You go find her and feed her your twisted version of how she was conceived? <laughs> Are you that paranoid? Why did you come here if you don't care? I came here to tell you that I don't want anything to do with this. I'm not going to try to find the girl. She's probably happy and well-adjusted and definitely better off never having known me. So you're just, you're willing to walk away from it all? I have a town to run. Oh, oh, you think you have a political future with your past? What past? I don't have a past unless you start talking about it. Oh, golly, you're just afraid for your job, aren't you? You know, after that night, I had to forfeit everything. I lost everything. I became nothing. Now I have a chance. To have something of my own and I am gonna hold on to it so you just are willing to forget the whole thing no more questions about your child or that night I'll agree to it if you will yeah yeah I won't say a word just get out of my life okay I'll go <laughs> Yeah, it's O'Neill. I want to call a press conference right away. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Cooper. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. So, Olivia is the woman that you want to grow old with. I am old. She'll just get older. She wants us to? We'll see. Fine. Fine. You know what? If she says yes to this, then if you need a best man, I will do it. How could she not say yes to me? <laughs> How could she not say yes? Well, she'd just have to be crazy then. Is she crazy? No, I, I, most of the time she's not crazy. Most of the time. Okay. All right. Just don't ask Ava to be the maid of honor, please. I wouldn't even dream of that. Look, I... Hope this works out for you. You deserve it. 
Thanks. Oh, look. I'm not calling her mom. <laughs> I don't think she's going to be able to stay a week much longer. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you everything when we get back down to the station. Not much, actually. You know, Marina, it's weird. She's like one of my best friends, and I feel like I'm looking at a stranger. No, no, here comes Mel to tell me to turn off the cell phone. I gotta go. Okay, I'm sorry. You know I'm usually really good about that rule. Please, don't worry. Nobody seems to be playing by the rules these days. Please shout out the victim of SpringfieldBurns.com, huh? I got bigger problems to worry about. Yes, you do. How are you doing with that? You look good. I have to look good for my daughter. Girls are so intense at that age, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, you should see my phone bill when Susan's having a crisis. But it's tough for Leah because that age, seeing her parents having these problems. Too bad Rick didn't think about that before he slept with Beth. Don't get me started on Beth. The whole world's going crazy these days. Well, except our mail. Maybe I'll just surprise all of you one day. Just go wild. Hey. Hey, get a little help. She's slipping away. You guys, she needs her rest. Just two minutes. Come two, on. Two, two, two. Two little minutes. Go. Blake. Blake. Sweetie, don't go to sleep, okay? Stay with us, please. Oh, why? You're never gonna understand, so what does it matter? Understand why you screwed with so many people's lives? I want to understand. Please help me understand. You don't know, Harley. I don't know. I was a force. I had power. I was Roger Thorpe's daughter. And nobody messed with me. <clears throat> I remember. And then it all changed. I just became somebody's wife. Somebody's mother. A stupid author. So flighty little Blake. So it's like a midlife crisis about revenge or something? Honey, I just wanted to get noticed. And once I got started, I couldn't stop. Okay. Why did you start with Diana? Because she's Ross's daughter. And she shut me out of her wedding. You did this because you weren't asked to be a bride? I... What are you... I gave Dinah a ch chance. Okay. Because of Ross. <laughs> and he died, and she just tossed me aside like I didn't exist. <sighs> so I messed with her. trembling. They're still scrambling because of me. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Just, just stay with her. I'll get Mel. I'll be right back. Is Lydia getting here? 
Don't know. You got any CDs a musical woman would like? Well, it depends upon the woman. Have you called Olivia yet? I left a message. Do you think maybe Greek folk music or like Motown? I would have to say Motown. Did Olivia call you back? I need a minute. Uh huh. Okay. So uh, have you, uh, have you practiced? Practiced? Yeah, you practice how you're gonna do. Uh, you haven't done that, have you, Dad? You don't want to look like a dope when you do this. You're gonna look like a no, dope. No, I didn't say you're gonna look like a dope. I'm just saying. No, you're, you're, right. Like you're, you're absolutely right. This is all wrong. It's just, we should be more spontaneous, more adventurous, like a speedboat on the lake, a right? A speedboat on the lake. No, yeah, Dad, it's too cold for a speedboat on the lake. And plus, if the woman really loves you, then it doesn't matter where you do this, you know? You're right. This is all wrong. I mean, it's boring in a restaurant. I'm, you know, it's look, boring. I'm, I'm not trying to make you nervous here, okay? That's that's the last thing I'm trying to do. Nervous? Do I look nervous to you? Where is she? Well, uh, uh, when did you call her? I, I forget. You forget. Okay, Teo, why don't you just give her a little bit of time? She'll be here, I'm sure. I'm gonna go find her. You're gonna go find her. Dad, you've had two glasses. At least let me drive. Definitely make the most of it, yes. No, no, newspapers, radio, television, the whole shebang. Today, if you can swing it. Yeah, I don't want to waste any time at all. I should have known. What are, you, what are you doing? You're doing it to me again. What? You call a press conference? You, you put your spin on what you did to me? You make yourself look good me look crazy? No, I trusted no, you. I said, it was a fool to think I could do it again. You destroyed oh, my please, life. Please, I won't let you do it again. Down. You, no, I am finished with you. Call wasn't I am about finished that. with you. you. I'm going to ruin your political please, career, your life, please, everything. No, no more lies. Come here. No, get off of me. Please, let go. You let go. Calm get down, out. Get please. Out of my way. Just get out of my way. Come here. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. So, what's the story? Short version? Blake felt alone after Ross died. She felt like her friends deserted her. Needed attention. Oh, my gosh. Poor Blake, I feel terrible. Oh, please. Oh. She made a mistake. No, no, making a mistake is going, ooh, look, I made a mistake. No, you do something over and over. That's called a plan. We get it. Okay, I'm just saying I... I think that if I had actually spent some time with her, I would have caught on to this whole thing a whole oh, lot so she Oh, so she needed attention, is what you're saying. So that's okay. That gives you a license to ruin everybody's life. Okay. You know, lesson learned. Pay attention to your friends. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go call Tammy. My point is, she was right. Okay? I didn't see her. I didn't, I didn't spend enough time with her after Ross died. We, we did lead separate lives. I didn't call her. I didn't visit her. Doesn't make it right. No. Doesn't make it right. You happy? I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky I have you. Lucky I have my kids and Frank and... Yeah, your, fa your family. Your wacky family makes the whole world worth living in. Just saying I'm lucky, okay? Because if I was alone, who's to say what I would have done? What are you thinking? Nothing. Uh... Where are you? Just when I was with Blake, is she... I had said something, uh, yeah. I knew she said something. Why didn't you tell me? I, 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 because I didn't want you freaking out. We were going through the whole thing of trying to have a baby, and I'm, I was trying to make sense of it. I'm still trying to make sense of it. Okay, just what, 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 what did she say? She said, at least I didn't tell your secret. What secret? I don't know. She lost consciousness before she, you know, she could say anything. Nothing came out of her mouth. Oh, it can't have been that big a deal if you don't even know what it is. There is no secret. I don't have any secrets. You may not have any secrets, secrets for me. Secrets from you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe it's about your sister. What about her? That she's alive. That she's in a, a witness protection program. Maybe Blake found that out from uh, Ross before he died. Maybe. No, that's what it is. What else could it be? That's what has to be. Mystery solved. See? Let's get back to work.
Olivia. Olivia, it's Alan Michael. We're back from San Cristobal earlier than expected. Hey, Ava knows your lead was a fake, but she thinks that you set me up too. Don't let her find out otherwise, or you and I will have trouble. What are you doing? No, it's, uh... It's your father. He's trying to hurt me again. Ava's our daughter. He's attacking her. Do something. Do something. No, Miss Spencer. It's true. No. Call the police. I wasn't attacking you. Uh, Olivia, please. You don't want to do this. Olivia. Get out. Olivia. Hey, we, we just saw Jeffrey take an album. What happened? History repeating itself. Jeffrey was the guy who attacked me 20 years ago. He was doing it again. Jeffrey. Yeah. He's my father. Next on Guiding Light. I see great love in your future, my dear. What's your relationship like with Detective Mallet? You got a kid? You got luggage? You got plane tickets? We never do anything like that. We're still rolling. The whole country will see this.